channeled message for love for Aries. Let's see what the energies are coming in. You are standing in your power right now, Aries. You are open to the world. You're open to change. You are open to big changes. You will close out a cycle and leave something behind if you need to. You've never felt this way in your life before. You're very much in love with someone but it does look as though you will end the relationship if you feel as though you can't overcome the obstacles um, I don't see you wanting to do that I don't see you doing that anytime in the near future but it is something that occurs to you so let's look and see what's going on for a beautiful Aries friends in love what messages spirit will let pop out for us at this time aha this one wants to stick out Okay, we have Ace of Wands is the energy in the recent past for you, passionate energy. Right now we have the King of Swords energy, staying very um, intellectual, keeping aloof, trying to keep cool. Aha! Ace of Swords. So now we have clarity. We have two aces here. This is a powerful reading, Aries. It's a very powerful reading for you. Two aces is a beginning of new thoughts and new passion and staying very balanced in the process of figuring things out. What, how do you see the situation with your partner? Well, you feel that you love them a great deal. We have the star card here. So the star card is one that says that you do think this person is your person. They could be. Hopes and dreams for love is what you want to come true with them. Let's see. What's in your heart space right now in this relationship? What is going on at this time for Aries and their heart space? Queen of Pentacles reversed. So you're not really feeling like you want to be a mommy in this relationship. You're like, nope, no motherhood responsibilities here. So you may have raised your children already. All right, so let's see what we have. There we go. We have, oh, the King of Pentacles upright. So we have the Taurus King. We also have what's hidden here is the mutual energy of the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Coins, Spirit is saying, mate, don't make a final decision yet. Keep an open mind. There's also somebody else that I think, you know, that you think about routinely. Uh, somebody could be from the past. I don't see them as currently, but I do see you. Um, I see the temperance card. So spirit is saying be calm, cool, and collected in love. Okay. So let's go ahead. So what I'm seeing here is a love relationship that looks fair. You know, it looks good. It does look good but with some very significant problems. The area of problem that I see for you is this area of the motherhood card. You know, mommy, 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 take care of me. And so there's some element, so especially if you're older and you've raised your children, but even if you're younger, somebody may have children and it looks as though they do because we get the page. So I do think they have children. And I think that this child or children really create a conflict for you. You're very giving, you're very loving, but there's something about all of this that just makes you feel as though you don't want to be the Queen of Pentacles to somebody's daddy card. So we have the Queen of King of Pentacles, but the King of Pentacles is upright. So he's all in. He likes the way it is. He, you know, whatever the masculine energy is in the relationship, they're really fine with this. They love you. They want everything to work out. The truth of the matter is they're not going anywhere. They're staying put. You know, they try to look at things from your perspective, but 
right now I'm not seeing you feeling very at ease with this relationship it's a good relationship in many regards really very good you have this energy of the star which says that in essence that your relationship is full of love you both love each other you both have an understanding that the other person is probably the best relationship you've had when you include you know love passion you know the mundane the living at home together you know how things get done who does the chores day-to-day -day life seems to go reasonably well for the two of you but I do feel as though you're carrying too much burden in the way of trying to be mom you know super mom to everyone and it really steals your sense of almost your identity you know like I'm a giving person but please don't take advantage so whoops there we go yep and here's the energy that's coming around yep five of wands you're feeling pretty upset right now you feel like there's an argument going on and it's a secret argument nobody's really speaking the truth of it because we have the ten of swords somebody has stabbed you in the back somebody that you invested a lot of time with and i do see this as family members because we have five people here the seven of swords there are secrets there are you know there's a lot of like sneakiness going on so whatever's happening with your person i just feel as though this is just very it detracts from your relationship it really does it's just all of these other people who cause a lot of conflict you know it's not cool so let's look you also have the ace of you know the ace of cups so you have three aces and this is the overall energy for the reading is the ace of cups so you are really in love with a person the only thing we don't have is the Ace of Pentacles, which is your willingness to stay at, at a practical level. That's the only one missing here. You're all in when it comes to the rest, when it comes to love, when it comes to passion. You know, when it comes to you being able to tell your truth and speak your truth in Aries, that's very important to you. We do have you'd like to grow old with this person. You feel as though the passion will be very good. It looks as though you've been together a while. You are perhaps, though, longing for passion with somebody from the past. Just had to say it. It won't be for everyone, but there is somebody out there who, for whom it applies. We also get this seven of wands you are standing your ground you're trying to stay really cool calm and collected but you are really not in a mood to be played with you will change all the things in your you will pack up your bag and go on a new journey if this one doesn't work out but it's not something you want to do what I do see you doing however is you're going to change the dynamic you're going to be blunt almost to the point that people are going to be a little bit shocked by it so i feel as though you're changing your actions for some of you your truth will be told silently it will be told through actions but you are determined the devil energy you're not accepting it you are determined to get out of this weird sort of manipulative group think sort of weirdness that you have to deal with with this person and it has nothing to do with you because look at the energy for the two of you it's a lover's card it's a soulmate card look at that soulmate card with a star card so it really speaks volumes to how good the relationship is in many many ways the mommy card is clarified by the wheel of fortune so the, there is good news time will take care of this problem the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and what it shows me is that in many ways you do not have to be bothered the strength card is where you have to really stay strong and you have to hang in there but I'm not seeing it this is something that you can relinquish whatever this is is codependent BS <laughs> I hate to say it that way but that's what I see it's codependent information uh, that you have about your partner and their family life and you know you've been there done that you're not doing it again you raised your family very well again if I'm speaking to younger Aries 
you may still be with someone who has a partner or children or somebody from the past. The Eight of Wands says that you have fire in your belly. You want your King of Pentacles. You want that Taurus energy. This is a person who's hardworking and passionate. Let's see what we have here, the hidden energy here. So Aries, what I'm seeing is that you want to be very practical, very down to earth. You want to return to a time in your life when everything wasn't a crisis. The things that you want, a peaceful, happy family life, period. You just do. You want the legacy, you want the good times, you want the celebrations, you want happiness, you want everybody to do their part. But what I'm getting here is that this person always, their family, there's something about their family that is always causing some sort of crisis drama. And it's keeping you up at night right now. It just, it, it's upsetting to you. Aries, Aries, it's just it's so much drama. So let's look and see what the energy is here for the Two of Coins. You really don't want to start something new. You know, you don't want to juggle. You're not invested in juggling. Spirit says that that's the correct message for you. So let's see what we have. You really want things to work out. Temperance card. You're trying to, you're trying very much to look at things from a different perspective. And let's see what we have for love for you as this period of time closes out. Let's see. Aries in love. Your person, <laughs> that devil card attached to the family and the mommy card. Everything looks brilliant here except for that. But you know, family issues are big issues. We live with them day in and day out. So for those with whom it resonates, it could be other people, it could be people in the workplace, it could be neighbors causing problems, but somebody causes drama in your relationship. It could be exes, even if they're not from Texas, sorry. Okay, so the Magician card, look at this. You are manifesting more love, a deeper love. You're, you're going to overcome the obstacles if your person is cooperative. So I do see, you know, when it looks as though their feelings are that they want to manifest you. Let's look and see what the Oracle has to say. This is the Shaman, Shaman Dreams Oracle. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aries, at this time. Eyes of the Eagle rising above the fray. That's what you're doing. Look at that. Rising above the fray. Very, very smart. And, oh, nice. This is a period. It's called the gestation period. So gestation is when we're pregnant, you know. So you have this love that is growing. You have this love that is moving forward. And this is a period of time in which you are incubating new ideas and making decisions about how you're going to interact with this family group. So those are the messages I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.